So we might have some pitcher now. But, um, yeah. Definitely gotta change which category we're in. Else the internet will get mad at me. So I should now be on the correct uh, category, and life should be wonderful. Alright. Is there sound? I'm hoping there is. So this game came out in 2018, and of course I immediately made a character. I played for 268 hours and got all of the everything. But I've forgotten. I've forgotten everything about how this game plays. I remember how some of the monsters look. But I, I, I don't remember anything. And I didn't record anything. So we're going to go with a new game. And I'm, I'm going to see what... I can't even remember if I played on the keyboard or on the control pad. So that's going to be a surprise too. And this game's had lots of patches and a DLC that I don't own. And if it's good, maybe we'll buy the DLC. And if it isn't, maybe we won't. But we'll uh, we'll play the base game that I already own. Let's begin a new adventure. And see if my coffee's still hot or if it went cold. Sisters and brothers of the Fifth Fleet. It's time. I'll keep my farewell brief. Never was much with words. Once you board this ship, there's no turning back. The next ground your feet will touch will be that of the new world. If any of you have lost your nerve, then step away now and let no one judge you. Very well. Then sail safe and strong. And may the Sapphire Star light your way. All right, cool. Bit of a flashbang there with the white and the black, but uh, I'm sure my eyes will readjust and heal in time. Crossbow. So I remember that. There's little cat people. Yo, did you hear? We're almost there. You ready to grab this new world by the horns? Don't know about you. Feels like ages since I left home to join the commission. So nervous? Believe you me, I get it. Anything could happen to us, but hey, that's yep. happened. Uh. Hey, aren't you one of the A-list hunters? What? No way! So are we. Hey, tell us your name. I think mostly they go around and they serve the food and they're chefs and stuff. So I think we just we just let them cook the meals and such and we don't really uh, craft anything from them. <laughs> we can use X to change the background. That's great, that doesn't really help. Uh, so we've got left trigger to zoom out. There we are. Uh, yeah, we'll play a guy. Okay, that's some presets. Sure. Let's see what some of these are like. Alright, we've got some long hair there. Hmm. I think we'll probably select this preset and then customize it to have the long hair of the uh, of the guy around the corner here.
Uh, the volume seems a little bit quiet, but I can't seem to turn it up on, on this menu, so we might need to turn all the music up in a little bit. It's a bit more well-rounded, I think. style. Let's have a good look through these. We're going to be stuck with this for a while unless there's a barber later on. Whoa! Awesome! What the... Fair enough. What the heck? Isn't there a musician that does this? Like Skrillex or something? Alright, so this one, this one's quite clean. What was that other one? Yeah. So 22 or 28, I think 28 is a bit more fitting. Definitely change the color though. Nice. A dark red hair that doesn't look ludicrous. <laughs> we have Baromir of Gondor at home. We sure do. I might need to change some things around here and there, but we'll 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 get there. Okay, eyebrows, change colour. Is there a match hair when you're in this menu? There is a used save palette, which I'm assuming going to be the same as this color. Cool. So, eyebrows. Damn, it'd really help if I had like a picture of my stream up at the same time and then I could be all like, yeah, okay, that's that's correct and this is correct. Do have do have some forehead. Hmm. Eyes. They look a bit wide, those eyes, so we'll not go with those ones. Maybe something a bit more like this. Go with average eyelash length. Now, where is a nice blue? Here we go. Gonna need to change that beard sometime soon. It's kind of distracting that it's two different colors. <laughs> Dump my nose. Hmm. It looks worse on the preview than it does on the character.
maybe this one? You can't go wrong with mouth one. Okay, there's an opportunity to put some more beard on the guy. Perfect. Solved. We'll try a use save color palette. Yeah, so use save color palette isn't isn't selecting. Okay, so the eyebrows are probably wrong then. Oops. I don't feel like we looked through four pages of beard. But I guess we did. Huh. Alright. Fair enough. Makeup. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we need any makeup on my character. I think we're fine. Looks like he's got a scar across his nose already. Ugh. So luminous. So, it says press Y to preview. Okay. <laughs> what the? Okay. I, th I think we'll just stay with the uh, expression one. <laughs> but some of these other ones were pretty damn hilarious. You know, person expression three. He's got a good good range <laughs> range of emotions there. Expression four. I was uh, hmm. It's got to be three or one. I think we'll just stick with one. But he, he's got it. He's fine. I think we want a different outfit on there. My god. Is this it? Is this like I'm... I think you get like more... <laughs> that emote you just did. That's hilarious. Ah, uh, okay. There's only four types of clothing you can start with. And, um, you know, they're not... They're not great. Hey, the white and black one's pretty cool. But yeah, I look like... Uh, I don't look like I'm about to go out and, and hunt the monsters. It's a bit weird. Oh, there's, there's armor in a bit. Okay. Just going to fix the eyebrow colors. There we go. Yeah. Hold on. Yes. And then confirm. Whew. Thank God. Yeah, indoor leisure clothing. Absolutely. We wouldn't want to say the word underwear at all. That would, you know, that wouldn't fly. That would not fly. So we've got voice, and we have preview for voice as well. <laughs> Okay. Uh, 
I might be a bit of a three. Four seems fine. <laughs> Man, I'm just gonna select three, I think. Because you could sit here all day and, like, listen to these different damage shaken sounds, and they, you still wouldn't really get a voice out of them. Oh, here we go. Maybe a bit too gruff. Let's try... 18. No. 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 That's fine. That's fine. We're going to go with type 2. But not not diabetes. So, default armor. Let's go. Let's let's see what's in this menu. Guardian the Guardian Alpha Plus armor is now the is now set as the default. This armor is recommended for all hunters as it's loaded with parameters and skills that will let you go toe to toe with even the toughest monsters in low and high rank. This sounds like cheat armor. I don't want this. Equip the Guardian Alpha Plus to give you the starting edge you need in hunting the new world. Hell no. We're going to select anything other than this Guardian A armor. I thought this looked a bit too fantastical to start with. <laughs> you can select no armor. Leather. The leather looks cool. The chain mail. Nice. And origin. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I think this might be it. I do like the chain mail as well, though. What do you think? Out of the... Out of the three. Oh, maybe you're AFK at the moment. I might go with the chainmail. I am a bit of a sucker for chainmail. There's some good metal on this. This kind of looks like full plate in, in areas. Hybridized with a bit of leather. Oh, not, but you should pick what you like. Yeah, I, I, sure. But, you know, which ones do you think are cool? I think they're all kind of cool, to be honest. I, I think, you no, know, my character hanging around in town would probably be wearing something like this. And then if we were going to war, I would probably put on something like this with the full protection. And then, uh, you know, I think if I was a commanding officer, getting to sit at the back quite a lot, I would probably wear, wear this. I think we're going to go with the chainmail. It would be cool if every game published their character creator separately. Some games do. I remember in the Final Fantasy fourteen kind of uh, frames per second tester. <laughs> Can't think of the right word. They have like a character creator that you can download at the same time with Final Fantasy fourteen. It's great. So you can run like a benchmark. The benchmarking program, yeah. You can run the benchmark and create a character. And it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that, that Guardian cheat armor, we're not going to go with that. We're going to go with the Chainmail. The uh, Metal Warrior. There we go. 
Okay. Let's give this fool a name. Hopefully I can I can just call him Dean, but my my other character might just be called Dean. We'll have to see. Enter your name. Okay, they don't want you to actually just enter your name there, but oh, here we go. Here he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Megan character would make people buy the game, and they could have a character file or something to transfer in. Yes, perfect. I think Final Fantasy XIV might let you uh, load in the, the presets from the benchmark. It would also be great for roleplay and fanfiction and D&D and so on. Yeah, true. Dean. Is this name okay? Yeah, yeah, it's an okay name. Sure. Create your pal, Hiko. Palaiko? Aww. <laughs> what is this guy up to? What is, am, am I going to be safe with this guy watching my back? I'm not sure if I will. Oh man, that's hilarious. Wow, it's 10 euros now. Oh, for the game. Yeah, I noticed that there was like a discount for um, the expansion pack on my st Steam starting page. It's funny because I mentioned this, I was going to play this yesterday, tomorrow, but the sale only just started kind of today, so I don't know, I don't know what's going on. But it looks like I kind of chose the right time. This guy's got his eyes closed. Another evil cat. I'm not sure if I really want to complete the orange one. This guy... This guy is a funny color. There's a question mark one. I don't know what that is. I think this guy's kind of a fun little color. So we've got a, a fur length. Oh, that's just making him really, really blurry. If I bring it back down again, he'll be less blurry. There we go. It's gotten rid of all, like, the blur on him. It's not fur length. That's blur amount. It's weird. Fur thickness. Whoa, I just... <laughs> I just m moves the fur around. Weird. Looks looks fine though at the moment. Wow, you can change the individual color. I think kind of like the white, the black, and the orange look good as they are. I don't think I'd change this. Brightness is already on a hundred. Yeah, this 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 kind of looks fine. Pattern. Okay, the pattern's the part that I like. So, I don't think I'm going to change that. This just seems to be more color options again. Weird. We just went through fur color, and then there's a second section for fur color. Oh, this one looks super happy. I kind of, yeah, I kind of like this one. The wide-eyed smile. Yeah. Hmm. I think I'll give him the yellow eyes for contrast. You can give him berries. That's weird. You can give him devil ears. No, I think we're fine as we are. Ooh, tail. Yeah, I, I guess so, yeah. Ah, oh, zigzag tail. Stub tail. Long tail. <laughs> give him the zigzag tail for fun. 
loathing. Okay. Should we... Maybe give them the reverse of mine. So this is... Can I choose black and then white? No, it looks like you only get to choose like one of the two colors. So to make it black and white, we have to choose white, and we can't have white bits where it's black and the black bits where it's white, by the look of it. Yeah. Voice! Let's, uh, sample this. I think I go with type 3. Was it even cheaper on other stores? Yeah. This one's been out since 2018. I'm pretty sure it's 2018. And then I, I played it, I did everything, and now I've forgotten exactly how it all controls. So it's not... It's not new. I mean, for a six-year-old game, you probably don't want to be paying the full price. So, um... Hmm. I think the no armor looks better. But if he's going to go out in the field and fight monsters with me, I can't really expect him to come out there with no armor on whatsoever. I think we'll leave him in the leather. But he looks adorable. Gotta call him uh, Dory. I really like this name for little uh, companions and mounts and things. Like my uh, Chocobo or Chocobo in Final Fantasy XIV is called Dory as well. There we are, start the game with this character. Yeah! I think that's it. I think this is the one. Awesome. So, how about a toast? Yeah, cool. Ah, oh, that's my boy! The A-list! And the commission! Cheers! <laughs> 15 euros with another game. That's not bad. <laughs> so, tell me, what's your theory? The Elder Dragons must migrate to the New World for some reason. After running the research commission for 40 odd years, the guild's itching for an answer. They say the Fifth Fleet's got the best shot at crack in this case, and I agree. Keep it down. Hey, speaking of, a-listers usually operate in teams of two. Have you sat down with your partner yet? I just hope I can get into this enough Listen so that, that I want the expansion. Getting rough out there. The waves are picking up. That's gotta mean landfall. You're on the A-list, right? Huh. meow do <laughs> I'm not psychic, but I do have pretty good ears. Ah, put her there. I happen to be an A-lister myself. Oh, whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Oops. Get the microphone. Oh, we're going capsize. Uh oh. Oh dear God. Dory, no! Uh, not a good start for me. to play my guy here? Yeah, I don't remember this. Let's uh, see if we can turn the volume up a bit. Oh no. 
disabled from pressing the options menu. Thanks, game. Push in the left stick to dash, or right button. Hello? Anybody okay. there? Climb the wall. All right. Oh, hey, it's you! Look what happened to the ship. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> What exactly is the plan? It's not safe here. This way. It kind of, it kind of sorted itself out. My God, my my character's moving like a monster. Rawr. Oh, got hit by a rock. I just overtaken her. Okay, I guess we're getting off at this point. Uh, ooh. Oh, okay, we can go up this way. Sure. Why not? Coming through. Oh God! <laughs> I could take a rock to the head, no problem. That's mean. His poor foot. Oh man, that's a monster. We were on top of a... What is it in, in uh, um, Pacific Rim? We're on top of a kaiju. Wow. The new world. Oh, is he a herbivore? Is he going to eat that uh, tree? I mean, he was carrying two people. What's this? Somebody must have set up this camp. Am I allowed to turn the volume up yet? Maybe. Nope. Nope. Still not allowed. I just stole the book. Looks like we're right around here. The Research Commission's base of operations is here. This is where our ship was supposed to dock. 
For now, I think it would be best if we make our way to base. The map should help us find our way. Hey, the options menu. So where the volume at? Hmm. That's as high as you can take it. I don't like. Come here. No, I haven't messed with my headphone volume at all. I've got like a separate slider physically on the, the headset. Hmm. Welcome to Jurassic Park. I mean, the ancient forest. Look, the research commission's headquarters. Come on, let's get going. All right, cool. Bye, little dinosaur. To, the map. to get to HQ, we need to. Hmm. She waiting back there for? Oh well, I guess I'll just go by myself. Vitality. These <laughs> Aptonauts seem every bit as docile as the ones back home. Okay. It looks like we need to go around. What about through here? Nope. Hmm. Something's up. The scout flies are gathering. Now, what is she talking about? What a weird plant. There's one over here, too. Come on. I think I found the way back to base. All right. Okay, we rolling. I had the scout flies memorize my scent earlier. If you lose sight of me, just follow the scout flies, and they'll lead you right to me. Not bad looking for a game from 2018. We can push our way through these vines. A little bit like uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Uh oh. gonna outrun them hurry up and hide wait what is that really gonna confuse them <laughs> we hid right in their faces they must have no sense of sight and no sense of smell okay, just like me coast is clear let's get going while we still can oh nothing else good in the bundle I hate that when there's like a forerunner on something and everything else is just like, I've never heard of this. Nothing can stop us. Yeah. A bit like going to see a, a specific band and then the uh, band that's on before them. They're okay. But they're not who you came to see. What is this track? 
Yeah. There's more over there. Let's check it out. I don't think I own Fallout 4. I own Fallout 4 VR because I was so sure I was going to buy a VR kit. Let's have a look at these old footprints. Wait, my character picked up and sniffed at footprints? That doesn't seem right. You can't pick up a footprint like that. <laughs> have you played Skyrim? I've got a partial playthrough of Skyrim. I'm planning to finish it so that I can upgrade to Windows 11. Uh, and then destroy my my install, and, and finally look at HDR. Whoa! What am I gonna do here? Don't mind me. Oh, he's got it covered. This way, hurry. Yeah, a couple of friends have streamed me a bit of Fallout 4 uh, over time. So I've seen little bits of it. Move. That is not good. What are you waiting for? Get over here. Ah, oh, look at him go. Get him, boy. After their long sea voyage came to a harrowing end, Hunter and Handler braved the dense forest to come at long last to the research commission something. I th yeah, I think I, I think I'm gonna be okay. Amazing, ain't it? <laughs> Scared to death. Okay. It's like nature meant for us to build a stara right here. A stara, I like it. <laughs> yeah, she definitely almost got her face bitten off. Here. You're the last to arrive. Oh, we were last, man. I should have just ran ahead without her. Like, I was way ahead of her at one point, and then I had to come back to her. If I'd bolted through the door, I wouldn't have been the last to arrive. Okay, set him down here. Take it nice. Leave the tape off your shoulder. Hold still for a bit. Hey, you guys made it. Be right back. You're alive. Had a rough, huh? When we couldn't find you two, we were starting to sweat bullets. You scared us. We were talking about going out to look for you. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Hey, we need a hand. Sorry. Hey, Come on. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> this here's our trade yard. I guess the name says it all. Look at all the people. The stuff. Incredible, right? We've got it all here. We've got hunters to do all the exploring, scholars to do the research, technicians to keep them going. This place is the beating heart of the commission. Wait here a sec. Commander, I found him. I think I recognize this voice actor. I think he's uh, the homeroom teacher of the class in My Hero Academia. Welcome to Astera. Welcome to Astera. I'm glad you made it. Somehow I knew you would, though. When you've been in command as long as I have, you start to learn who's capable and who isn't. Yeah, I'm capable. She wasn't. She almost got it. Uh, now, as much as I'd like to get you up to speed, I'm being pulled in about eight directions at once. Well, uh, we'll cover the important ma matters at Council, which I'll be convening once things settle down. I expect you two to be there, of course. Your reputations precede you. The Guild spoke highly of you as individuals. Think what you can do as a team. 
Alright, well, she can hang back and I'll do all the monster hunting and uh, we'll see if that works for our team. Uh, and before I forget, your fairy friend was looking for you, poor thing, washed up not too long ago. Oh, yeah, Dory. I'm glad he's okay. Go ahead and have a look around Estira. A horn will sound when it's time for council. Well, off you go. Okay, I'll give you the grand tour. Let's start by looking for your palico. This is our stockpile. They carry most of the basic necessities. You should drop by later to see what they have. Next is the smithy. It's this way. We're gonna need the smithy. Over here. It sounds like that's where I'm gonna get a weapon. And some armor. Hmm. You were the commission's fifth fleet, right? The old man in charge, my grandfather, was with the first. That was a long time ago. Me? I'm not with any fleet. Born and bred right here. Never even been to the old world. Ah, oh, poor guy. We should take him back to the old world to have a look around. Smithy. This is where you can craft weapons and armor. You'll be here a lot. Yeah, I will be here a lot. Look at this place. Wanna check it out? Ooh, it's toasty in here. Uh apparently we're leaving her behind and we're following the team leader. Now I, I wanna have a look. I wanna have a look. Next up is the canteen. Let's check it out. Okay. This is where the cats are cooking. I remember this. Here's our canteen. Hmm. Hey, over there. Hey, you. He's got a name, you know. Wait, why does she get a hug? I knew you pull through. He's my cat. What the heck? Traitor. Right. We're calling for a council. Come on. Yeah. Now that you are all here, let us begin council. After tracking a migrating elder dragon across the sea, the fifth fleet have finally arrived in Astera. Give them a warm welcome. They're a fine group. Worthy comrades who will help see the Research Commission's long efforts finally rewarded. Would you like to say a few words? No. Thank you, sir. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. This here is the Commission's core team. You should all get to know each other. Looking forward to it. Well, he was in the blacksmith area, so um, we're going to need him at the smithing. Now, down to business. The latest monster to make the Elder Crossing is known as Zora Magdaros, a huge monster with a mountain of fire upon its back. The Research Commission's job is to discover exactly why the Elder Dragons are migrating to the New World. Elder Dragons have been with us since the dawn of time, altering the ecosystem, reshaping the land, leaving disaster in their wake. Once every decade or so, they flock to this continent, but for what reason? With the Fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Now we're talking! Tech Chief. This is the guy. Hunters, for the time being, I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem and securing Astera. Start by investigating the Jagras' habitat. Find out what makes him tick, and we'll go from there. 
Right. We're on it, sir. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. Now we're talking. You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. You heard him. Stick with me and you'll have no problems. The Fifth Banner promises a change in the wind. It's your job to fulfill that promise. Damn, even my cat's got his weapon already. I don't have mine. I like this, this tiny little knife on my back. Alright, dismissed. <laughs>